What's going on, America? Move this out the way. Sad, y'all. Sad. That's good. Need a little bit of caffeine to bring me up out of the coma that I've been in since uh, this whole lockdown. So, I did a video talking about the benefits and the positive things that um, you kind of got to try to look in and dig and fish out um, to say, look on the bright side of us all being locked down. And one of them was maybe people have caught up on some series or some movies they haven't seen, which I happened to run across Ip Man, IP Man. If you haven't seen the movie, check it out. One of the best Kung Fu movies in the world. Now, you know, growing up, we all loved those Kung Fu movies. You didn't even realize how cheesy they were when you were growing up. They never synced the voices up. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> Ma <Fu> Yi. <laughs> yeah, all of that. They always had the sound effects that was over dramatic and never synced up with the moves. The over dramatic sound effects when you hit somebody. Every movement made sounds coming from the wind. I'm like, dude, your fingers don't move that fast. I know the eyebrow technique. Yeah, everybody watched them growing up. We loved them. We loved them. They had all kind of styles that you really thought could could be real. Huh? I know the praying mantis. <laughs> Me. I study <laughs> the wild monkey. <laughs> yeah, all of that stuff. We loved it. We loved it growing up. And then they they modern they modernized it, and and you came up with it man, which was great. He represented Bruce Lee's teacher. And the first movie was amazing. I mean, the dude's hands were so quick. I mean, took on that, that scene where he fought all 10 dudes was amazing. It was amazing. To this day, one of the best choreographed scenes in a Kung Fu movie ever, ever. And that was big words coming from me. However, PC done ruined IP. You hear me? This last Ip Man. The last of the trilogy, the one that was, now I guess that's not a trilogy. I think they did four of them. But anyway, nonetheless, I've been licking my chops to see this. I'm like, this is the last one. Oh, I hope it's just as good as the first. And y'all, PC done creeped up in there and messed up IP. Now, spoiler, if you haven't seen it yet, then you might want to hit pause. If you're not going to watch it, just listen to what I'm saying. They brought in the whole issue of illegal immigration and all they did is try to take this concept of illegal immigration and apply it to Ip Man when he was trying to get his son to come to the U.S. for school. And they made it seem as if everybody in the U.S., first of all, they immediately start singling out patriotism. Making sure that anybody in America that talked about America and we're the best country on the planet and all of this, it was mixed in with this hatred, this unnecessary hatred towards other races. And I'm thinking, okay, aren't y'all going a little over the top and exaggerating how much, for no reason, all of these Americans are just racist towards Chinese people and any other person? And they was using stuff that you hear in the modern day PC culture. When it comes out to illegal immigration, things like, uh, well, this country was never yours and it was built on immigrants and y'all came here and took it, the white man. And I'm going, okay, so name me one geographical location that the first person born there owned it and it remained just the way it is. Uh, there are some areas on the planet where nobody wanted that area so you can have it. If you want to go ahead and occupy, you know, the North Pole or uh, up there in Alaska, I mean, you got to be built for that. Uh, I don't see anybody saying, you know, well, let's go conquer Alaska just to make a resort up there. You know, it got to be some type of resource at least, you know. I mean, there's some places on the planet you just don't want to go. You can have that. Y'all go ahead. That's your territory. But most places, there's been contention 
amongst the people around that area. For some reason, it's built into man's DNA, unfortunately. They're just not content. I'm like, why don't you stay where you at and work on your crib? But no, no, every once in a while, somebody's looking over the fence like, well, what's over there? Maybe we can go and conquer that area. It's unfortunate, but it's true. But it's not limited to the settlers that came here because the Indians that were here were doing the same thing. These tribes were conquering each other's territory. So people in Africa was doing it, everywhere was doing it. But nonetheless, they tried to bring up that whole concept of this country is built on immigrants. And they talked about how the Chinese made all these railroads and stuff. And I'm thinking, okay, all right, what does that have to do with modern day illegal immigration? That's all I'm saying. Because yes, the country is built on immigrants, but we always, we haven't always been a union. We haven't always had a constitution. We haven't always came up with strict immigration laws. Once we formed a union and became the United States of America and put together a constitution with laws, then we all agree to abide by those laws. We don't just rip them down and say, well, because uh, we want to build our voter base and we can't really give you a good reason why legal immigrants should be able to come over here and just post up and state. We're going to go ahead and blame it on your races and you are imperialistic and your goal is to keep anybody who's not white, upper class, Anglo-Saxon out of America. And everything you do is built on racism. I thought it was built on law and order. But anyway, they throw that in there. And then, of course, they had to bring Uncle Sam into the picture. So they have this character who is, a, I guess, an army sergeant. And he's this over-the-top racist. Oh, I mean, you yellow people, we show you how to do things here in America. We're the greatest country. And all of his people under him, whether they was black, Chinese, whatever, he's using all types of racist terms, talking to him. And I'm like, who does that? I mean, th 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 it looks like it's taking place in the 70s where Bruce Lee was at. Not the 20s, the, the, the you know, early 1900s. I was 1901. Uh, you could talk to some people. This was like in the late 70s. And so this guy's in there calling people the N-word right to their face. He's calling the Chinese a whole bunch of you yellow face, blah, blah, blah. And he's going so over the top to really address this whole thing that they're pushing concerning illegal immigration and white nationalism and white supremacy. And of course, they slide in the same terms we've been hearing. White supremacy, white nationalism, uh, all of these things. And it just ruined the movie for me. I couldn't even enjoy the comfortable. Well, I won't say that. There was a couple, couple moves where I was like, okay, all right. Hey, hey. But then right after that, I get smacked with this crap, this message that they're trying to shovel down the throats of people that watches this stuff. And you see how programming works. You see how they have control over all of the forms of entertainment and information that comes in to the population. And you got to really be careful to cover your mind, your eyes, your ears, block out and identify, block out the garbage, but also be able to identify it. Because let's be honest, if you can't identify the garbage and the things that they're dropping in all of these mechanisms, you could become a unwilling and ignorant victim of it. In close, got into this big debate on my other Facebook page because I posted a picture or a meme about how the Democratic Party has been using black people and we we call it the Democratic Plantation. And a lot of my viewers on that page was offended. All of a sudden now, y'all, they sensitive. How oh, you could be nicer. You shouldn't post. And I'm like, the post, You nobody disproved the meme. Nobody said that's not true. It was just you're hurting our feelings over it. And then they tried to defend the Democratic Party. And it was people on the channel also that came over from Kevin's Corner page and was giving it to them. And they didn't like it. They was getting their feelings hurt because they was hitting them with facts and stuff about the Democratic Party, about voting, all of this stuff. And so one person inboxes or they, they type on the page, well, what about a free thinker? Um, if would you say that a free thinker is a uh, is, is ignorant or a victim of, I guess, being a product of the Democratic plantation? 
And I said, well, that depends. If the free thinker is a true free thinker, yes, perhaps. But if the free thinker is under the illusion that he's a free thinker, but he's really not, meaning all of their thoughts have been socially engineered and programmed through all of these mechanisms down through the years to get them to come to the conclusion in their head that this is what I should do. But all of those ideas, thoughts and stuff that motivated that final decision was programmed down through the years. So in that person's mind, they think I'm making my own choice and I'm a free thinker. But the reality is eh, they've been setting you up for a good 20, 30 years and you have no idea that you're really a program thinker that is under the, uh, the delusion that you're free. Kind of like a fish in a fishbowl. That fish in the fishbowl, in its mind, it is free to roam anywhere it wants. They have no idea that there's a bowl in glass that's keeping them from going any direction and how far they want to go and explore as much as they want. They're under the delusion that they are making progress, but all they're doing is swimming around. And all the people standing outside that fishbowl is watching them. It's a rat in a maze. The rat thinks I'm making my own choices and decisions and going this way. And the person got the cheese up there and they're watching them. And like, my goal is to get that rat to that cheese right there. But the rat has no idea. He's thinking, well, I'm just going to make a left right here because I smell cheese up ahead. Same thing with a lot of Americans, as they watch programs, they subject the kids to watch certain things. Uh, you go to school, you're getting hit with all these subliminal messages that by the time you're in college, your kid is arguing with you over dumb stuff. Mom, you know what you are? You're a fascist. And Dad, you don't understand. You know, we got it. Uh, we have to go out and we have to protest. I'm going to go outside and lay down in the middle of the freeway tomorrow. I'm like, go ahead, son. All right. Yeah, don't let me be on a freeway and find you laying across the middle of it. I, you feel something? I don't feel nothing. Okay, because surely nobody would be just laying in the middle of the street as a protest. But because you've been programmed since you've been eight to think that America is this fascist, racist, disgusting country, uh, you want to take a stance. Uh huh. Um, well, go ahead. Go ahead. Right ahead. Make a fool of yourself. So anyway, that's my thought. They ruined the movie for me. I'm upset. I think they need to go and scrap that whole one and do a new one. I'm sorry if I burst your bubble on this one. I tried to warn you before I talked about it. Hey, don't don't watch it if, if you ain't seen it or if you want to see it. But anyway, IP Man, the final version, they're going to slide in that garbage. IP Man probably will roll over in his grave if, they, if he knew the creative expressions and freedoms and liberties that they've taken with this story. Anyway, God bless you. Don't forget to check me out every Wednesday night, 7.30 live in Kevin's Corner on Facebook, YouTube, and my radio blog talk show. Hit like, hit share, hit subscribe, and the notification button. Make sure your notifications are set to all and that you also um, are still subscribed to my channel. And check out Extreme Tees. If you like what you're seeing, put my name in the promo code. Kevin, you'll get a 20% discount. And then finally, um, if you want to donate to Kevin and Kevin's Corner, feel free. There's a link in the bottom to do that. All right, God bless. See you next time at Kevin's Corner.